Hello, fire signs, sun, moon, and rising. This is Dee, and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and a welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it's not by coincidence. This is a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, I invite you to join me on Instagram at you are following D2. So fire signs, this is a general reading for you which comes to you from the Gilded Tarot deck, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, also, the Ace of Cups jumped out of the deck when I was pre-shuffling, so we'll get to that. God most high, angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit, what is the divine guidance and encouragement for the fire signs that's for their well-being? This is for Aries and Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Thank you. So you have the strength card, and let's dive into the Ace of Cups first, since it jumped out of the deck. So this is um, a message to let you know that there is a new, fresh beginning as it relates to a relationship. Now, it could be family, friend, or a romantic relationship. And so, if you are looking for love, I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to engage in a romantic relationship with someone who will definitely be someone you're very compatible with and the love that you will experience with that person will be one of divine is the word I'm getting. So it will be divine, almost like this is unbelievable, but believe it because it is real, it is true, it's what you've been desiring and it is here for you. And so I think it's important for you to understand that just like the moon phases, our emotions go through various phases. So it's not that there will not be any types of challenges or everything will be absolutely blissful all the time. That would not be natural because in order to grow and evolve, there needs to be challenges. And so otherwise, there isn't a balance. There has to always be that yin and yang in everything that um, comes with life. There's always duality. There's up and down, right and wrong, left and right, black and white, um, stop and go, etc., etc. And so be mindful of that. Um, again, this new beginning in love, even if it's a friendship, um, whether it's a friend in work, at work, or at school, in your community, Again, it could be a family member as well. This friendship will be one where the bond is is a solid, uh, solid relationship built on a solid and firm foundation. You will get each other and you will feel very compatible. And so if you are already in a committed relationship this message is to encourage you to embrace a new beginning. If there was any type of strife or um, division for various reasons and you've been able to reconcile and now begin fresh, I feel like you're being encouraged to allow what has happened to pass don't allow that energy to be brought into this new fresh start but embrace embrace this new fresh start so as you could hear i'm not sure if you could hear it in the background there was someone like yelling so i feel like if you've had a strain, strenuous relationship, now is the time for that reconciliation, new beginning, the beeping of the horn, confirm the fresh new start. So, embrace.
embrace this new beginning, let the past go, learn from the past, take that um, wisdom with you, but allow it to, allow the past to be the past, ultimately. Be wise as you go forward and embrace this new, new fresh start, this new beginning. I feel like um, you've worked through the difficult times, the challenging times, and it may not have been easy, but you've been able to do it. Now everything is very calm and peaceful, which allows you to uh, move forward on a good accord. And so I feel like once again, that it's important that you just embrace this new fresh start, this new beginning, and you've probably been wanting it. And now you have the opportunity to indulge in it. Leave the past behind, move forward with gratitude in this peaceful state and use the tools that you've been able to gather during the time of healing, of working through challenges. Use those skills as you go forward. Use the wisdom and the knowledge that you've obtained. But enjoy this new fresh start to your relationship. And this is important because this card jumped out of the deck. And as an ace, aces always represent a new beginning, a new fresh start. So I repeat, if you're looking for love, you'll have the opportunity to embark on a new romantic relationship, a new found friendship, uh, a new start in a family relationship as well, or a coworker or classmate. If you're in a relationship and you've been in a relationship for some time, it's been a committed relationship, this card and this message comes to encourage you to embrace a new fresh start. Reconcile, let the past be the past, move forward and really enjoy this new fresh start. Okay. And you have the strength card. And the strength card is encouraging you to use your inner willpower power to face any challenges that may occur. And it could just be in everyday life. So I feel like you've gotten yourself to a place where you're not easily triggered, you don't fly off the handle, you listen, not to defend yourself, but you listen to actually understand legitimately what the other person is saying and to also discern if there's something deeper that's happening and um, understand if the issue is really involving you or if you are just in the wrong place at the wrong time and someone spews off or spews out something that verbally that is offensive that tries to get you to respond to it. But you've had a place where you've been able to work through any type of um, issues with managing your self-control, managing your emotions where you can legitimately listen to respond in a proactive way rather than listening to respond to defend yourself. So you're being encouraged to continue to execute that practice. It's been paying off and it's, it's a very positive attribute to um, develop and you're not alone. I know that I've had to 
work on my self-control as well over the years. And so I've learned great lessons on how to be an active listener versus listening to respond, but listening to understand and to discern if this issue that's arising, is it really because of me or is it that this is a deeper issue within the person that makes all the difference in the world how to deal with each and every situation you encounter encounter in that way. Also, the message I'm getting about the strength card is that it's important for you to use your inner strength to persevere, to accomplish any task or goal that you really want to achieve. It's gonna require that you use self-discipline and persevere. You're going to need to push yourself a little in order to achieve what you truly want. Use that um, Leo energy, which is very fiery, to get you going. So persevere, use your inner strength to meet your task, goal, deadlines, so that you achieve exactly what you desire. You have it within you to do it. You just need to utilize your inner strength to help you to forge ahead. In other words, don't procrastinate. Simply said, don't procrastinate. Move forward. As the woman and the lion, they're headed in in a direction clearly which she wants to be going in and she's moving forward using her strength to persevere. Nothing's standing in the way. So for you, I feel like you're being encouraged to do the same. Use your inner strength to persevere, to move forward in the direction that you want to go in. Not the direction that someone else wants you to go in, but the direction you want to go in to complete a task or a goal. You are divinely supported and you're being encouraged to use that Leo fiery energy to forge ahead. So fire signs, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so, especially if this message resonates with you. Also, leave a comment and or an emoji below. That would also be appreciated so that I can gauge how this message resonates with you. So thanks you, thank you again for being here. I appreciate you. Take good care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.